Celine Dion has made headlines lately for her drastically changing appearance. There are some who worry about you, who worry that you're a little too thin. My body shot off, and I was like, I'm going to forget how I feel right now. She's been silent, dealing privately with the kind of news all families dread. It was the loss of her greatest love of all, husband Rene Angeli. Celine Dion broke down performing on stage tonight. Is this the fall of a legend? It was very hard. I had to leave him behind? How do you do that? You have been pictured with a very handsome young man. Is this a toy boy? Please, leave me alone. How did Ryan Reynolds get through to Celine? I sent her a long letter. Do you think Renee would think this is appropriate? Some of those reasons we do get sick because we're not expressing ourselves or letting things out. I still struggle with those same things. Don't feel what you need to feel. You're never ready for something like this to happen. When did you realize it was all over? I will never forget because it was a wedding anniversary. I went back in my dressing room and I saw him looking pretty devastated and in shock. And I was like, but what's going on? And he sat down and he said, I have cancer again. The doctor just called me. And at that moment, honestly, my heart started to beat faster, but my body shot off. And I was like, I'm gonna forget how I feel right now. I went on, I sang the song, and then we went to the hotel and then reality started to strike. Celine wanted to be by Renee's side, but he pushed her to keep working. I had to leave him behind because he wanted me to start the shows again. How do you do that? Sometimes, don't feel what you, what you need to feel. Just do it. Go on stage. <laughs> I did. Because you're a showbiz veteran, you know how to... No, because I love him. And I did, and uh, it was very hard. He can eat. He's, he's got a feeding tube. I feed my husband, and um, and I feed my kids. <laughs> and unfortunately, I had to say, listen, I can't be half here and half over there. Please, allow me to stay home. Renee agreed to Celine's pleas, but it was too late. And he said, I just want you to wish you a great show and to tell you that I love you. I said, I love you very much too. That night I came home so late and he was under medicine. I didn't want to go in the room and say, honey, I'm home. And then he would be confused, can't go back to bed. So I didn't see him that night. The next morning, the first feed was done by a nurse and she came and um, he was gone to his new life. You're never ready for something like this to happen. Even though you expect it, when it hits you, you're not prepared. And right now, I'm not quite sure how strong I feel. Celine kept losing people who'd been by her side since she was a little girl. My brother who passed away of this pretty much the same cancer as him, died on Renee's birthday. We always had a house full of instruments. My brothers and sisters, they were my, my first influence. I was the luckiest one to represent all of them. And when Renee discovered her talent, she worked with him to become a musical legend. Fell in love with him for the way that he treated everyone around me, including my whole family, myself. I knew that she had something, the way you give yourself away when you sing. James Horner, My Heart Will Go On, came to see us to propose that song. I didn't want to record it. Thank God I let him decide in the business. After Renee's death, Celine tried to carry on with her music, but it was too painful. What's the hardest part going forward without Renee? I have to take decisions now. Do you think Renee would think that this song is appropriate? Did you ever consider not coming back to the stage? When he was sick, he always said, show must go on. Celine Dion broke down performing her iconic song, All By Myself, just months after her husband's tragic death. Everything started to, like, is this an earthquake? Losing a half of you because we were partners, we were one. There are some who worry about you, who worry that you're a little too thin. Celine's grief was eating her alive. Then she got an unexpected letter from an admirer. See, a letter on my right side and it says, personal and confidential for Miss Celine Dion from Ryan Reynolds. We had this amazing song. We were all sitting around trying to figure out who's gonna sing it for the movie. The studio piles up a whole bunch of sort of millennial friendly type singers that we just thought, let's go right to the legend. Let's see if we can get her. I sent her a long letter. Little did Celine know, 
Just months before, Ryan had also lost someone he loved. My father uh, uh, had Parkinson's. I really didn't have a, a support system. I had no outlet for that. To sort of deal with this inner kind of hurricane that was happening, I would just get on the, jump up into the audience and just do the warm-up. And it was just a great way to kind of expel some of that, that super anxious energy and, and into something productive. I wonder if some of those sort of uh, underlying reasons we do get sick or sicker is because we're not sort of expressing ourselves or letting things out. Ryan reminded Celine of how music helped her keep going. It was so sweet because he considered me for his new movie, for me to sing his song. And when I played the song the first time, I was like, oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful song. I love it so much. The unexpectedly emotional theme song for Deadpool 2 sung by Celine Dion, is about beauty rising from the ashes of loss. She's a legend. I love her. Recording the song for Ryan was the first step to building a career without Renee. Celine Dion has released her first English album in years after struggling with the loss of her beloved husband and manager, Renee. The album is appropriately titled Courage. Finding the courage, going through difficult times, overcome these difficult times, that was emotional. I really wanted to prove to him. I wanted to prove to myself. As the media pressured Celine to move on, she found a new love in an unexpected person. Over the past few months, Celine, you have been pictured with a very handsome young man. Some people were saying, is this a toy boy? Have you found a new man? You ready for love again? I am in love. Love is not necessarily to marry again. When I see a rainbow, when I see a sunset, a beautiful dance number, I laugh, I cry, I'm in love. As she rose from the ashes of her grief, Celine finally started living life on her own terms. Have you surprised yourself with how strong you yes. are through all this? Now I have a voice. I feel so powerful and in charge, grounded, happy. She cannot stop living and go forward. Today is the first day of the beginning of my life. 